Billy the elephant has been at the LA Zoo for 33 years. He lives in constant pain and anguish. It was seeing Billy suffer that made me want to help him. The LA Zoo claims that they're taking good care of Billy and the other elephants. But the truth reveals a very dark and different reality. For four years, we sent legal requests for Billy's records, but the zoo refused to respond. They just don't want the public to know what's going on. That's the issue. That's the issue. Finally, a judge ordered the zoo to turn over the records and fine the city $250,000. The records reveal a long history of neglect and cruelty. We gave the records to Dr. Ensley, an expert on elephants in captivity. Here is what he found that the zoo had kept hidden. Billy does this all day, nonstop, head bobbing, swaying. It's called stereotypic behavior. It's the result of years of mental and physical suffering. Wild elephants never behave this way, nor do the elephants at paws, a sanctuary in Northern California that's willing to give Billy a home. Stereotypic behavior leads directly to Billy's life-threatening foot problems. His repetitive behavior and constant pacing cracks his nails, which can cause deadly infections. Feeding stations often collect feces and urine, which can easily infect Billy's cracked nails, causing a dangerous condition called osteomyelitis. Gita, another elephant at the zoo, died in 2006 of osteomyelitis. She was in pain for 17 hours from the moment she collapsed to the moment she died. Also, the rock-solid floor of Billy's enclosure causes other devastating health problems. According to a study at the LA Zoo, his enclosure has a hardness comparable to asphalt or concrete. Unnaturally hard surfaces like these lead to irreversible joint disease. Billy walks endlessly back and forth to his feeding station on ground that's harmful to an elephant's feet. This causes arthritis and joint degeneration. Many other LA Zoo elephants have suffered from this. Over nearly four decades, 16 elephants have died. Seven of them were euthanized. They all suffered from foot and joint disease. Even now, when the zoo gives Billy treats to amuse visitors, he is forced to do tricks that are harmful. Here, he is required to sit up on his rear legs to catch food from a trainer. This places unnecessary stress on his aging joints. And when Billy was just a calf, to prepare him for a lifetime in captivity, he was forced to endure a brutal training regime, which still affects his mental well-being. Billy came to the LA Zoo in 1989. He was only about four years old. This is a training video made at the zoo with Billy as an example of how to train an elephant. Billy's tusks have been cut, his front legs chained, and the bull hook held by the trainer. Here the trainer pulls Billy down by block and tackle using front and rear leg chains. Billy's treatment is identical to that of circus elephants. This circus elephant is taught, like Billy, with a bull hook to sit up on a stool. In this training video, Billy is taught to be ridden once again with a cruel bull hook. Circus elephants are also taught to be ridden for their shows. Here Billy is being taught to climb up on a stool, once again with the bull hook. Circus elephants are taught to do the exact same thing. For Billy to have reached the level of cooperation demonstrated in the LA Zoo training video, he would have had to suffer through days of repetitive physical pain and calculated discipline and beatings. Sadism, that's the people we had in the barn, sadists. The zoo has proven over decades that it is unwilling and unable to, to properly treat these animals or to even have the uh, motivation in that direction. And these prods are something else. When people think of prods, they often think of the commercial cattle prods, which are just little things that use, use batteries. But those that were used at LA were handmade 
and uh, they ran off of the wall current. If you touched it to the metal, it would actually burn two points in the metal. He would chain the elephants uh, by all four feet on concrete and then hose them down and then go after them with the electric rods. I've watched Scott Riddle stick hot shots up the elephant's vaginas. When you have an animal, a bull elephant, that when he sees this prod coming, he starts trembling and screaming and defecating. You know something ain't quite right there. And this was used more or less routinely at LA. The zoo also claims that Billy was being used in a breeding program. In another act of cruelty, he was forced into a small cage so that the sperm could be collected from him. This process involved staff forcing their fist into his rectum. This historic cruelty is the cause of the crippling mental and physical conditions Billy demonstrates every day of his life. Billy's history of abuse is irrefutable, but a new, caring future is within easy reach. Paws has 15 acres of hills, fields, and streams waiting for Billy. I believe a well-run sanctuary with proper veterinary support is a much better environment for an elephant. It allows an elephant to really be an elephant. No matter how well run a zoo might be, it's inevitably not as natural or healthy an environment for these animals. And that is why I've been working to free Billy for more than a decade. Captive elephant expert, Dr. Phil Ensley, observed two other male elephants, Prince and Nicholas, in their habitat at Paws. Using binoculars, Dr. Ensley saw that neither one of them had evidence of split or cracked toenails. Paul's also has numerous visiting days so that the public can come and see the important work they are doing for rescued elephants there. Dr. Ensley recommends that the Los Angeles Zoo relocate Billy to Paws as a commitment to his long-term care and rehabilitation. Billy doesn't have much time left. Please let him spend his remaining years at Paws. Please, LA City Council, it's time for you to do the right thing and send Billy to Paws now. <laughs>